Hi everybody, this is Rose, Relationship and Transformational Coach from Cape Town, and I'd like to welcome you to my Creative Journey series. This is a series all about inspirational people with amazing stories, incredible creativity, and one of those people I'm going to be having a conversation with today is the fabulous feline artist, Helen Blackbeard. Helen, welcome to the show. I'm so delighted that you could join me today. And um, You're right. Helen, you. would you like to tell us, explain or describe your journey to becoming a feline artist? Sure. Well, I've been painting from a young age, um, not felines though. Um, painting from a young age and then studied art. And so I had, yeah, I've been creative all along. But then was introduced to cats when I got married to my husband, Paul. We had never had cats in my life before that. Um, and he brought these two kitties home and I just fell in love completely. And that started my love affair with cats. And then I decided to incorporate, to paint them because I love them so much. And um, that's really, and it just started there. And I've had a very good response to to the paintings and I because I, I love I mean cats are beautiful I find them beautiful and I love beautiful colors and fabrics and interiors and so I decided to combine the two in my paintings and it seems to have worked people really seem to enjoy them so yeah that's it the Helen you right because even looking at the paintings in your background I can see they're very vibrant mm -hmm. your, yes, um, your yeah. self-portrait uh, that is incredible absolutely beautiful so what is it about cats that you love so much oh rose <laughs> um i think it's just well it's uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah i just don't know they're beautiful to look at they've got these lovely um independent natures um i love the fact that they're independent and they the, people tend to think that they're they're quite aloof but when you get to live with a cat, you realize that they actually are very loving, loving animals. And um, it just, yeah, I love everything about them. And they, they all have individual personalities, which is really incredible. Absolutely. Isn't it? But I wanted to ask you, were there any challenges or was it just something that, that came naturally when you started painting these beautiful painting. felines? Yeah. <laughs> Um, not, not challenges really in the painting because um, for me with painting, I think people might, this might sound strange, but whether you paint, into, technically whether, for me, whether you paint um, a cat or a landscape or a portrait, it's just using that creative brain. It's kind of, um, so it, to me, it, it doesn't really matter what the subject matter is, but what matters is that if you're passionate about the subject, I think that comes, comes through. So really, no, no challenges in terms of technical. I think my only challenges with creativity is my own criticism of myself and comparing myself to other people, which I think most artists do. I think it's part of human nature. I think people um, do that in any case where they compare themselves to other people. <laughs> And we often stop our talents or reaching what we really want to reach is by comparing ourselves to others and saying, well, I'm not good enough. I'll never be like Helen. I did an oil painting for my friend in Durban who's cat crazy yeah. and she looks yeah. after feral cat. But it was just <laughs> such fun to capture that. And, and so I can't destroy what I did out of love for a friend by comparing myself to somebody as incredible as you, where you have this natural talent, you know, so we can block ourselves, you know, and, and stop the possibilities. Yeah. And, and the truth is, is that, um, that, you know, your friend who you did the painting for that painting would have bought, bought will bring her so much joy. And it, actually that to me is more important than that, if, that a painting is perfect, whatever perfect, but whatever perfect, perfect is. is, you know. Yeah, the thing is that if it brings somebody, if it resonates with somebody, if it brings them joy, if it uplifts them, that's that. It, it make, that's the purpose of 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 painting. You know, you have. I mean, in, as an artist doing it, you have some. You, you have immense pleasure doing it and joy. But if somebody else gets joy from that, that is like 
that is the the best That's true prize. So Helen, I know that yeah. you've um, done amazing projects with calendars, um, cat calendars, which are absolutely amazing. But tell mm -hmm. tell me about your cat calendars. What inspired that? And then I'd like you to tell us about some of your um, international commissions you've had for cats and how that came about. Okay. Um, the calendar, you can actually see the current one in the background over here. Um, the way that came about was I, I well, I suppose because of my age, I've grown up with war calendars and I use a calendar in my studio and I write all my, you know, all my kind of notes and things that I have to do on there. And I've been buying cat calendars for years, obviously because I love cats. And then I, the idea came, actually it was at the start of lockdown last year, I, I, I kind of was at a loss of what to do because we, you know, I wasn't working. And I thought I'll, I'll do paintings towards a cat calendar and produce hopefully a cat calendar for this year, 2021. And that materialized, fortunately. Um, my, luckily, my husband agreed to, to finance it. And then we did it and uh, 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 we financed it, but then decided to give a portion of the sale of each calendar to an organization, an NPO called Cape Townians Against Animal Abuse. I decided um, to set myself a project for next year. And I'm currently working on the paintings for 2022 cat calendar. How did your cat cat calendar sales go rose compared to i don't i can't i've got nothing to compare to sold about 150 i think about 150 calendars in total which is more than i expected and it was through limited channels it was through me personally and then cape Tonya's against animal abuse distributed quite a lot of the calendars congratulations that's amazing tell me about um your your commissions from overseas clients how did that come about okay so i've had uh, the the overseas ones i um i've got a cousin who is ex-south african living in america to married to an american girl and she has this this is how it started she has a number of friends who love cats and i have through through her and word of mouth i through through so i've painted for one of her friends, commissioned, she's commissioned a couple of paintings which I've sent over. And then friends of her friends have seen them in the States and commissioned paintings. So that's how it's happened. I've been very lucky. Um, and it's mainly America. I haven't done commissions for anybody. I've done portrait commissions for somebody in Israel, but not cats. The cat ones have gone to the States. So you do portraits and you do cats because your self-portrait in the background is absolutely magnificent and not everybody can be a portrait artist so in my eyes you are a highly talented woman oh. <laughs> <laughs> so helen i was going to ask you about your support system but it sounds as if your husband is a great support and fan yeah. of yours who mm -hmm. else has supported mm -hmm. you in this process mainly paul um my i mean my sister who's who i'm very close to has also been amazing support um and friends who you know friends have been supportive in that um you know they, they've i've got one friend in particular her name is patsy and she's bought paintings from me she's not a cat person but she's bought cat paintings and she's you know she's bought calendars for herself and for friends so yeah that's uh, mainly mainly Paul and and my sister and then this friend of mine Patsy. I'm on Instagram. You're on, I'm Instagram. on Instagram. And I, and I did I did advertise the calendar on Facebook and I got yes I got one or two orders actually overseas from the Facebook the Facebook um, post okay. that I put on. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. But Helen, what a what a lovely, inspiring story. And I loved when you began saying this this whole thing started in lockdown. What am I going to do? Mm. Mm. And it's amazing how lockdown has brought out so much creativity in people where you're really stuck and you've got to think of things that you need to do, not only to make money, but to keep yourself busy and doing something that you're passionate about. What is your next big dream or what is the next thing other than the calendars? 
Okay, so, so the, uh, currently I'm working on a ca calendar for next year, but that, the paintings will be finished soon. Um, then I've got uh, two commissions to do, actually cats. So I'll be, be working on those. And then um, I've got a, something I've always been interested in, Rose, is, is illustration. So I've bought an online illustration course, which I've, I bought a little while ago. So I want to do that because my, and I'll tell you why, is because I love, I love fine art and I will always paint in oils, which is my medium, the medium that I love. But I, I'd like to, my idea is to make art more accessible in term, financially. Do you know what I mean? It's art, fine art is, can be very expensive. Mm. So if I can do things that, that are quicker and that I can reproduce, and actually the calendar was, part of the idea of the calendar was that, so that, I mean, the calendars were selling for 250 Rand and the 12, from 12, the 12 original paintings, okay, they're prints of paintings, but if people really like them, they could cut them up and then f put them in frames. And, and that way have something on their wall that is hopefully they think is lovely, but is affordable. And that's, that's my, what I'm, I'm kind of focusing on going forward is doing this illustration course and maybe kind of developing something that is more, um, I can I can reproduce many times and people can afford it, so it won't okay, be expensive. More cost effective, yeah. More cost effective for others, yeah. Because even that price of the calendar is is really um, affordable. What are your tips? Because I believe there are a lot of talented people out there uh, that just don't know how to begin, and and they want to begin at the end. We're in <laughs> there's, there's a process. So what is the beginning? Yeah. What is the yeah. beginning? But, well, if it's somebody who hasn't um, created at all, uh, I mean, either if they're confident, if they, they're happy to just to buy materials and experiment, or, or else um, you, there are many books available, I'm sure, in libraries as well. Otherwise, online courses, there are so many available. There, there's one site I can recommend that I have bought, bought a couple of courses from, and... Um, very reasonable. It's called Domestica, D-O-M-E-S-T-I-K-A. They could look there and there are a wide range of courses there if they wanted some instruction. Um, otherwise, if they just want to start themselves, I would say just, yeah, just experiment and just maybe take a, take a, a, a subject matter, like even if it's flowers and just, um, just, take a flower from your garden or buy a bunch of flowers and just maybe try doing those and uh, painting or drawing those in different medium and I think it's important what's really important is just to keep keep working keep creating that's something I've realized like anything else enough the more you do it the more confident you I mean, the more confidence you develop in in your skill or your more skill you acquire and the more you do it the better you get there's no question about it I think that is um Great, great tips. So, Helen, thank you so much. This has been so inspirational. This has really been incredible. Thank you for taking your time out. And if people would like to commission um, yes. either a painting, you know, or a portrait, or their cats, or whatever they'd like to commission, how can they get hold of you? Um, they can... Uh, they can contact me on my email address. It's um, kitcat, K I T C A T, at yebo.co.za. Um, if you want to go and have a look at my, most of my work, it's on Instagram. I use Instagram as like a, a virtual portfolio. So everything that I do, I put onto Instagram. Um, do you want me to give the Instagram handle? Please, please, Helen. Okay, it's creative soul underscore Helen that's as uh, so you can have you can contact me there but email would probably be the best the best thing thank you so much Helen thank you for taking time out and I've loved chatting to you from your your lovely studio and I'm trying to look at all the beautiful works of art around there and take care thank you so much Helen thank you Rose thank you so much see you soon